What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today, I am going to review the Mr. Hobby G Tools, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Super Booth, the um, Sacrone fan ventilation system from the uh, Mr. Hobby line, which I purchased uh, on my birthday, which is replacing. My current uh, booth, my uh, spray booth, the Tamiya uh, spray booth that I got roughly four years ago, a little over four years ago. Um, I've been, I have been looking into replacing my Tamiya booth for quite some time, uh, mainly for certain reasons. Um, one is for the fact that it was getting old. That's one. The other one is um, it wasn't as powerful enough to suck out the air in my room or where I work out of as I'm airbrushing my kits. I recently replaced the filters on the on the booth, cleaned it up a bit, and I actually put it in the box, so um, I have a plan on what I'm going to use with that. But the reason why I like this one is because it's certain aspects. Um, first of all, it's not as thick and large as you think. Even though the box is huge, it is the, relatively the size of a perfect grade box. To give you an understanding on the scale of this box, here is, of course, my 1 100th scale Sinanju Stein, which I haven't built yet. And by the way, I had to use my bed as a backdrop because this thing is too big, too big to put on the, um, on the table for me to uh, review it. So yeah, this is how big this guy is, especially this. Um, I got this from Gundam Planet, who gave me a good deal. Uh, those guys were really cool. Uh, I have to promote them for, for helping me out and getting this. Um, and again, the, the reason why is, is for simplicity and how to, um, you know, for other reasons, which is kind of hard to explain. Again, the super the the Tamiya spray booth that I had a while uh, that I had currently, even though it worked, it was a bit cumbersome. I think a little bit too um, certain aspects of it made it difficult for me to maneuver and position it properly. I had to take up a lot of space in certain areas of my house. This one, on the other hand, is completely different. Uh, and let me show you a little bit more detail on this using the, um, this was a catalog from Mr. Hobbies, um, there we go, from this company. And here's some detailed information, of, well, not that completely detailed, but according to this, the standard voltage is AC 100 volt, 50 to 60 hertz, and sizes is 330 by 620 by 730, which could be, oh yeah, millimeters, right there. So it's basically millimeters. Another thing I like is because of the honeycomb filter, which looks uh, appealing to me, um, and the tubing. I guess it comes with this, and I guess I like it because it's simple, and it doesn't take up a tremendous amount of space going in. It's uh, to give it a better example. Think of it as me working with a tube television. A television that nobody uses anymore. Everybody's now uh, upgraded to flat screens. So getting this was basically replacing my my TV, my tube TV, with a flat screen. That's pretty much how I can sum it up. So let's open this case and see what we what we have. So the first thing I'm no I'm looking at is the actual I guess the actual motor. Of the of the Mr. Superbooth um, unit, it is uh, pretty heavy. It's made of strong steel. As you can see here is the I guess the uh, ventilation fan that is a lot you know turns and sucks out all the air using this little motor that's inside here. I guess the air is then funneled through this uh, tube, which is then funneled through this this tube here which I guess I'll have to attach and then feed it to a different area of you know feed it to an uh, open window 
and according to the instruction manual as I'm looking at here you take this part which is the actual um, booth section itself remove these three screws and I'm going to review this again remove these three screws take out the plate and the screws put this right on top of that re-screw the pl put the plate on it and then the screws in its position so it's it holds down firmly then you put down this little filter peel off these tapes put them here and then you take the honeycomb cardboard slide it in there or actually no incorrect and this thing is going to fall off so okay. I knew that was going to happen so you put the filter there and then you take ah yeah we'll do this you take this plastic shield that goes over this like so and then put the honeycomb right on it So you put it on like that. And of course in practice, um, I would of course be spraying onto this where the paint is, be you know, the fumes and the paint are being absorbed through the f honeycomb filter, through this little filter right here, going through that hole, through there, out the tube, and out to La La Land. Simple. Pretty simple. Um, it is a, a weird design. I I was under the distinct impression that once I pull this out of the box, I can use this box as a um, as a storage unit for this. But I guess considering that this is going to be sticking out like that, and it is a bit back heavy, so surprisingly. I thought this thing will have something in the background, but I guess maybe because of all this weight, this and that and everything else, it will then of course be in its position where I can then use it to spray paint my kits. Well, cool. Very cool. What do you guys think? So now you guys are probably wondering, what the hell am I going to do with this? As you can see, I cleaned it up as best as I possibly can. I put on new filters here, but why would I do that if I have my new uh, super booth? Well, it's time to change, you know, it's pretty much the changing of the old guard. I'm going to retire the spray booth, but it's not going to be put away. I'm actually planning to get rid of it. I'd I was originally going to do was I'm going to put it on eBay and sell it and see what happens. But I really am not in the mood to go back to eBay and start selling stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm taking it with me to Comic uh, to Comic Con, excuse me, to Mosquito Con. And if anyone is interested in a spray booth, as you could see here, spray booth that comes with its uh, comes with its um, you know tube and extra filters which uh, pretty much does not come with this I just made my own filters for this but if anyone is in, oh and of course there's a plastic shield that goes up here it's in this box that you see if anyone's interested in it I will uh, sell it at uh, at uh, Mosquito Con mind you only people who are going to Mosquito Con is qualified to get this not someone on, on YouTube or you know so just you know if you guys decide if you want to purchase this I'm gonna sell it for about 20 bucks or better offer so if anyone's interested in it 20 bucks or better offer and uh, I'll say like let's say until maybe one o'clock if if uh, no one has a uh, 
asked for this kit and um, you know someone offered me 20 or more or you know reached the 20 mark and they said oh yeah I want it and no one is offered to me after one o'clock on Saturday then it's yours for 20 bucks so that's pretty much it I hope you guys like this quick little video review of the Mr. Super Booth. I'm not going to be spray painting any more kits until um, until after April, and I'll explain that in a later video. But uh, yeah, my next custom build paint jobs will be, of course, with the Mr. Super Booth. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.